Welcome student, we're gonna learn about Oracle Cloud Platform, Big Data Management. So let's start out with what is Big Data. So I'm gonna read what's on the screen here. Big Data is a term often applied by people to describe data sets whose size is beyond the capability of commonly used software tools to capture, manage, and process. The sheer size of the data combined with the complexity of analysis and commercial imperative to create value from it has led to a new class of technologies and tools to exploit it. The term big data tends to be used in multiple ways, often referring to both the type of data being managed, the technology used to store and process it. So how is big data generated? Through a social networks like LinkedIn, Facebook, EDC, banking and financial services, through stock markets, the streaming codes, e-commerce services, your Amazon generates those, web-centric services, anything which is online and creates a transaction, internet search indexes, like whatever you type in Google, Scientific and document searches could be research papers and documents which are online. Medical records, your records could be your doctor visits, your calls to your doctor's office, payments to your doctor's office, and etc. Web logs, the logs generated could be automated logs generated through your web service. So mostly this technology is originated from companies such as Google, we talked about Amazon, Facebook, and LinkedIn, where they were developed for each company's own use to analyze the massive amount of social media data being produced. Due to the nature of these companies, the emphasis was on low cost, scale out commodity hardware and open source. Google, Amazon, Facebook, they all started out small by individuals. Maybe Amazon was in a garage Facebook in a college dorm, Google uh, through a research at Stanford. So they didn't have the resources, financial resources, so they depended on low cost technologies. We'll talk about characteristics of big data. So volume, velocity, variety, and value. So these are the four Vs which make up a characteristic of a big data. The world of big data is increasingly being defined by the four Vs, the ones we mentioned. This four Vs become a reasonable test as to whether a big data approach is the right one to adapt for your new area of analysis. The size of the data with technology, it is often very limiting to talk about data volume in any absolute sense. As technology marches forward, numbers get quickly outdated. So it is better to think about volume in a relative sense. If the volume of data you're looking at an order of magnitude or larger than anything previous encountered in your industry, you're probably dealing with a big data. For some companies, this could be terabytes, and for others, it could be petabytes. Velocity, the rate at which the data is being received and has to be acted upon is becoming much more real time. While it's unlikely that any real analysis will need to be completed in the same time period, delays in execution will inevitably limit the effectiveness of your campaign. Limit interventions or lead to suboptimal process. For example, some kind of a discount offer to a customer based on their location is less likely to be successful if they've already walked some distance past your store. Variety. There are two aspects of variety to consider, syntax and semantics. In the past, this have determined the extent to which data could be reliably structured into a relational database and content exposed for analysis. Although modern ETL tools are very capable of dealing with data arriving in virtually any syntax, in the past, they were less able to deal with semantically rich data such as free text. 
As a result, many organizations restricted the data coverage to a narrow range of data. Differing the point at which this kind of rich data, which is often not fully understood by business, also has significant appeal and avoids costly, frustrating modeling mistakes. It follows then that by being more inclusive and allowing greater model flexibility. Additional value may be created. This is perhaps one of the major appeals of the big data approach. So in the past, data which was not structured was avoided and there was a lot of value lost there. So in comes value. The commercial value of any new data sources must also be considered. So anything new you see on your data, you want to consider that. Or perhaps more appropriately, we must consider the extent to which the commercial value of the data can be predicted ahead of time so that the ROI can be calculated and project budget acquired. Value offers a particular challenge to IT. In the current harsh economic climate, it is difficult to attract funds without certainty of the ROI and the payback period. Importance of big data. This was an Oracle Commission study. So the results are 86% of the interviewed executives considered big data to be an important part of their business. This study is backed up by significant rise in the number of organizations adopting big data technologies in the last few years. And if you are in the IT field, you've heard about data, data scientists, AI, autonomous databases, autonomous cars, autonomous planes, so that is all got to do with big data. Given the strategic business imperative of big data and increasing technology capability supporting big data, it is important for an organization to understand how big data technologies relate to their existing information management environment, how best to combine them all, if, it, if at all, into a coherent platform that will support a management by fact approach, how to facilitate the discovery of new facts and ideas and set this into business process as mentioned previously. We will learn all these techniques in this training, Oracle Big Data Training. Big data opportunities. So they are today's challenge in healthcare, expensive office visits. It's as in US currently, it is very expensive. So with new data, remote patient monitoring can be done and possibly preventive care. If we have more data about ourselves, about our health, we can reduce hospitalization. In manufacturing, uh, we need in-person support to look at the machines. With new data, product sensors, they can predict failure and that way we can diagnose issues ahead of time. For location-based services like on zip code, real-time location data, geo-advertising, we talked about how you could send a special offer to a customer who's around your store. Utility companies, a complex distribution gear. So detailed consumption statistics. If the utilities companies have up-to-date distribution stats, they can divert their resources to the much needed areas and uh, this way uh, they could keep up with the demand. So big data challenge. So there are multiple challenges. When to schematize, how to analyze, how to process and governance. So to schematize, uh, to make the data understandable, a schema must be applied to it before analysis. One aspect that most clearly distinguishes big data from relational approach is the point at which the data is organized into a schema. In the relational approach, data is placed into a schema when initially returned to the database, schema on right. In a big data approach, data is only organized into a schema immediately before analysis. So it is schema on read. How to analyze? One area where there is almost no difference between the approaches is the analysis technologies applied. 
Data scientists typically use broad range of technologies such as SQL data mining and statistical and graphical analysis depending on the problem being tackled. Regarding how to process, another challenging area is to processing of unstructured and semi-structured data. This is mostly because the terms fuse two key differences of the physical representation of the data, syntax and its inherent meaning, semantics. For example, a file containing JSON and XML data is easily processed by relational and big data technologies, but if the meaning of the data is not fully understood or could change over time, so having some schema flexibility will be important. So we have to be flexible with, uh, with new type of data in order to gain business value. What about governance? Perhaps the most critical difference between relational and big data technology is really more to do with the philosophical positioning than anything technical. The technologies come from different places and the people involved have different worldview. Because of the schema freedom offered by big data technologies, we are more able to accept and process really messy data, evolve the schema as we go. This makes it ideal for data discovery and leads to a greater level of agility. But this agility comes at a cost. You can imagine what might happen in your business if every time you analyze your total sales for the year and you received a different result. It would not take long before trust in the data had broken down and the solution was abandoned. So this is the intro. Uh, let's uh, go into more detail in the next chapters.